What's up everybody, this is Kiver and today I will be presenting how to defend and keep a lead in tower control. A lot of people ask me to do such videos where I explain my mind, how to push, how to defend in every mod. So this time I will start with tower control, I will do the same in Waymaker, Clan Beats, etc. But before going into the main subject, I want to announce that I will be posting more tutorials and guides alongside my usual rank videos. So make sure to subscribe and hit the button notification so you don't miss any of them as well as helping me reach my current goal of 10,000 subscribers before 2022. So now let's go. Awareness. By awareness I'm talking about enemy specials. You need to remember hits of every weapon so it's gonna help you on the long run. Especially if you face a splash weapon. If you see their hair glowing or you see on the top of the screen they the special charge and you basically end up in a face to face against them you will have the upper end because you know you can anticipate when they would be able to use it second positioning positioning it includes two things high ground and choke point high ground is your biggest friend high ground makes you make you safe for most special it allows you to spam bombs on the tower from a good distance without getting shot by anybody except if they use a charger or a special for you and it's also very good at protecting choke points choke points is basically like a checkpoint but it's not visible like you see that this is the square that means it's a checkpoint and that choke points you need to keep under control so you don't lose the balance of the game third timing ah on timing I have so much to talk about it. First of all, bombs are incredible at defending choke points, pushing and forcing people off tower. Then, your special is your biggest tool to stop a push, so timing properly and don't waste it when you don't need to. Especially if you have a bomb as a sub weapon. Like if you have a bomb as a sub weapon, use it until there's a good opportunity to use your special. But most of the time, you want to use your special in order to break the momentum from a team if your bombs are not enough or in order to get a checkpoint. Forcing enemy special as soon as possible without using yours so you get the upper end of thoughts, like I said earlier. Pushing the tower far enough to have a head start for defensive positioning and more time to charge your special. So please don't die. Don't try to be a hero that will go across the map in order to get a kill while the tower is literally in the base. Don't do such things. Don't, don't try to go for such a flank and die without your special. If you flank and you have your special ready and you use it, okay, I can understand. Otherwise, be a good teammate, a good player actually, not even a good teammate only. Be a good player and charge your special before engaging when you're, you're in an overtime situation and you have the lead. If you are not in a good spot before the time, jumped out. That's why I recommend one sub or quick super jump on every weapon you use. Always have one sub. Especially in tower control. One sub. If you're in danger and you know you would die if you don't you if you don't jump out, I have one sub or quick super jump so you can go back to the base faster and it's gonna help you and your team. But yeah, like sharking, I don't really recommend it in overtime because most of the time people are using warlock utility by warlock utility i'm talking about sub weapon or special that can see you even if you're in the ink especially missiles if you're facing a missile weapon don't try don't try shocking over time don't don't do it like absolutely don't do it
Oh, for good. Nice, we can push. We can check one. Beautiful. Now I can bomb machine time. Maybe it was early to get the checkpoint. I saw on it to get to get it faster. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Breaking down more. We can almost for my teammate. Stay alive. Yeah, stay alive. <laughs> Wait. No. Well, I could have taken the tower. You know, just in case. Okay, go on. Decent push. Uh, what can I paint here? No one is going, cool. So it means I will get my bonus fast. Then I'm gonna repush on myself on the other side. I'm gonna wait for the tower to be in a good spot. Like, they're using all the special. Then we can charge, use my soul. This. Did you use that one? Watch out. This is Astral Dawn. Okay, first Predon, first Armand. Now I can bomb rush. There we go. How to keep a lead in tower control?